Yo, welcome back to That's Where We Talk, new celebrities and hot topics. All right, I'm not going to even do an introduction. Just watch this clip that I saw on Twitter. Did you listen carefully or you just talk a lot? Oh, are you angry? Part three has the answers you've been waiting for. Deborah, Candace, wow. Wendy. Everyone's response. Wow. Y'all want me to be friends with this? The Real Housewives of Potomac reunion part three. Sunday at 8 on Bravo and streaming uncensored on Peacock. Okay, so I don't even really have to do commentary on this because I feel like it's just quite obvious what the fuck I'm about to say. But Giselle done lost her goddamn mind. She done lost it. You done lost your mother mind. If you know where that's from, let me know in the comments down below. I'll give you a dollar. Listen, um, did Giselle really say, okay, first off, we, we have to back it up. A lot of the girlies onto Twitter are really upset with Wendy because I believe it was about a reunion or two or three ago where Wendy got upset because somebody called her angry. And now the girlies are like, oh, my God, Wendy's a hypocrite because now she's calling NECA angry. And I just kind of feel like I'm going to, you know, defend uh, Dr. Wendy to you, sweetie, uh, when I can. And, you know, the first thing is that, one, NECA and uh, Wendy are both the same complexion. OK, that's number one. Number two, did she really call her angry or did she ask, are you angry? Okay, she don't want to be accusatory, so she asked. So y'all, let me know how y'all feel about that. Is uh, Wendy a hypocrite since she didn't want to be called angry all those years ago? And then we have Giselle talking about it's everybody's fault. It's uh Wendy's fault. It's Candace's fault. It's Deborah's fault. And I can only assume they're talking about this fight. Remember a few episodes back, I believe it was during the finale. Uh, Candace sat up there in the confessional talking about some somehow, some way they're gonna make it out to be my fault. And that's exactly what they did. Now, I know the girlies love to say colorism doesn't exist on this show. But why is it that the two dark skinned girls are being blamed for a fight that they were not a part of? It kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Now, I can kind of see how Giselle could do mental gymnastics to place the blame on Candace Dillard Bassett because at the root of the issue, Deborah did confront Candace because Candace called her a Sesame Street character. Granted, she would have never been called a Sesame Street character if she was not lying on Chris Bassett and Happy Eddie Child. Okay. So that's number one. But the root of the issue was between Deborah and Candace. So I could see how you could kind of place the blame on Candace if you wanted to, even though I feel like 100% of the blame is on Crazy Eyes uh, Debbie. Okay. Elmo, Cookie Monster, Big Bird Debbie, Little Debbie Cakes. Uh, but listen, to blame it on Dr. Winnie to you, sweetie, I just find to be just absolutely idiotic. Sis, what? What are you talking about? What does Wendy have to do with anything regarding this fight? Y'all want to see the fight because I actually do have the fight. Um, let's see where to fight at. What is Wendy doing? Nothing. Okay. Deborah tries to throw a drink. Candace tries to pick up a bottle. Ashley Darby's trying to prevent Candace from doing anything with the uh, bottle. Keanu starts uh, commencing to uh, beat Debbie up. Okay, beat the Sesame Street character up. She's whacking and whacking and she's playing whack-a-mole. And then Deborah's lame-ass friend in the lime green going to drag Keanu all the way down. And that's when Deborah thought it would be a good idea to get her lick back. So that's when Kiana got her head busted in. Notice how uh, Candace was like, do y'all want me to be friends with this? Did you listen carefully or you just talk a lot? Oh, are you angry? Part three has the answers you've been waiting for. Deborah, Candace, wow. Wendy. Everyone's response. Wow. Y'all want me to be friends with this? The Real Housewives of Potomac reunion part three. Sunday at eight on Bravo and streaming on Okay, y'all want me to Peacock. be friends with this? Uh-uh. Okay. Not y'all want me to be friends with her? You don't even get a human pronoun. Y'all want me to be friends with this. Okay. Moving right along, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the uh, comments down below. Giselle knows she's wrong for it, even putting Wendy in that sentence. That was just crazy. Um, So I'm here for a great time, not a long time. I just wanted to very quickly give you guys an update on Portia, the Williams, and Simon Gobadia. So Simon is trying to convince the courts that Portia don't need to be in the house. Portia is also trying to convince the courts that Simon doesn't need to be in the house, okay? But they're doing it in a very subtle way. They're hinting that they don't want the other to be in the nice mansion in Sandy Springs. So Portia is basically hinting at the fact that there's an alleged prenup, and the alleged prenup allegedly states that Simon needs to allegedly get the f*** out after 30 days of uh, Portia filing for a divorce, okay? 
And she's allowed to live in the house for up to two years. That's what alleged this alleged prenup allegedly states. Okay. Simon is arguing that, you know, there is no real reason for Portia to be in the home, seeming as though we're not getting along right now and she has her own house. Okay, he's arguing at the fact that, you know, the mansion in Sandy Springs is his only home that he owns in Atlanta or in the country at all, I believe. Somebody fact check me in the comments down below. But Portia has a $1.8 million house just three cities north of Atlanta. So Portia really wants the judge to enact this prenup. I don't know what the judgment is, if there is a judgment. If we get one and I know about it, I'll let you guys know. But, um, you know, Portia is basically wanting the judge to enact the prenup. And Simon wants the judge to enact common sense. Okay, why would she be here if she has her own house, a $1.8 million house? Okay, just 30 miles north, right? So, listen, rumor has it that Portia not going nowhere, though, because Exhibit A, okay, if you squint, you can see that those walls aren't the old house. That's the new house in Sandy Springs. Exhibit B, that's not the old house. That's the new house. And, y'all, these are all recent Instagram posts, like in the last day or two. Exhibit C. There goes PJ, and they're looking at that eclipse. Okay, that was today. They're looking at the eclipse. They seem pretty happy, and they're in the backyard, and they're chilling, and that's the Sandy Springs mansion. So how do y'all feel about the situation? Does Portia need to leave? Let's talk about it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.